people what is going on we are back with another video and today we're taking a look at a another mechanical keyboard this one from HyperX. So uh, they went ahead and sent out to me their HyperX Alloy Mechanical Keyboard. And uh, they've designed this keyboard basically to be compact so that it can maximize your gaming area, or so they claim. So it's got uh, kind of small bezels all around. Um, it's meant not to leave a, a large footprint so that you've got more room to uh, move your mouse around. So uh, anyways, claims aren't everything. So let's take a look at it and actually see if that's true. Okay, so here you guys can see the uh, HyperX Alloy FPS mechanical keyboard. Um, as you can see, it's got a pretty compact uh, design, pretty minimalistic bezels uh, all around here, which is nice. You've got the top plate uh, integrated with the casing as well, and this is a uh, metal top plate there. Uh, it's not very thick either, as you can see. Just looking at the uh, bottom of the keyboard there. So it's pretty compact all around, which is nice. Uh, on the uh, top side of the keyboard here, there is a USB uh, charging port. So if you have a phone that you want to uh, charge while you're gaming, you can go ahead and connect it on this end here, which is nice. Also the cable that they include with this keyboard is uh, not bad either. It's got a kind of got a uh, black and red design here, which is nice. I typically don't see that unless I am uh, looking at someone's, you know, a little custom mechanical keyboard that they've put together. So it's nice that they have uh, included that here. Now, as far as the keys go, you do get these uh, ABS keycaps. They are uh, pretty standard. Um, they do include these extra red ones that you can apply. You've got some for the uh, WASD keys, which are textured. And then you've got uh, these just kind of plain shiny red ones for numbers uh, one through four. So you can add those on as well. They come in the box if you uh, feel like it. But other than that, you've just got uh, these backlit ABS keycaps here. Um, there are media keys across the uh, top of the keyboard here from the uh, F6 to uh, F11 keys. And then you have a gamer mode here, which locks out the uh, Windows key. So you don't actually hit that when you're in game. Um, as far as other keys on the uh, keyboard here, well, you do have the ones over the arrow keys to control your lighting. So you've got, uh, you just hit the function key, of course, and then you can change like your brightness levels or you can change the uh, lighting modes here, which I will uh, go ahead and show you guys an example of all of the lighting modes. So yeah, it's not too complicated there, pretty simple. Uh, the keyboard is red backlit only, which is kind of strange, I think, in 2017. I would think you would either go uh, no backlighting at all or you'd go RGB, but I'm not sure if this was done uh, purely for aesthetic reasons, being that red is kind of part of their company color, or if there was some type of issue um, as far as uh, quality concerns with uh, getting Cherry MX switches that have the uh, RGB LEDs on it. Speaking of the Cherry MX switches, this does have uh, those switches on all of the models available. The one that I have here now has uh, Cherry MX brown switches, as you can see in the uh, top left corner there. So you can also get this with Cherry MX blue or Cherry MX red switches, which is nice. I do like that they've not gone the route of uh, other companies and gone with uh, you know the kind of knockoff brand they've stuck with 
the uh, Cherry MX switches, which I think is nice. And Cherry MX Browns are my favorite switch, so uh, I kind of like these a lot. All right, so I almost forgot to do a typing test here. We can't leave that out of the review, so let's go ahead and do a little quick typing test here. Just a little 60 second one, so you guys can get an idea of how these uh, Cherry MX Brown switches sound. All right, let's see what we got. Damn. So we had 95 words per minute, three errors, with an adjusted speed of 92 words per minute. Not bad. As you can see, I am a pro. Not surprising there. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, they have kind of designed this keyboard to be somewhat travel friendly. Um, they do have a removable USB cable, which is nice, so you can pop that out. There's also a little pouch that you get as well that you can store your keyboard in. So if you're taking this to some type of LAN event or something like that, um, you know, you can coil the cable up, throw it in the pouch, and, uh, and be on your way. So overall, I do like the keyboard for what it is. I would say it's a little bit of a throwback in terms of uh, features, at least lighting-wise. Uh, again, it does remind me of an old-school K70 in a way. But uh, overall, not a bad keyboard. The issue as far as being compact uh, for gaming, I think if they really want to make an impact there, then they need to release a separate model that is 10 keyless because really that's what's gonna make the big difference in terms of maximizing your uh, gaming area. The small bezels here are appreciated. That's nice. I definitely don't like the huge gamery bezels, but I think they should release a separate model that is 10 keyless. Um, it doesn't have to be as extreme as like this keyboard that I have, which is 10 keyless and is also missing the top numpad or uh, the top F keys. But I would like to see something that is a little bit more compact as a whole, not just the bezels. So RGB, 10 keyless, keep the minimal design. You should have a hit there as far as uh, a true quote unquote FPS gaming keyboard. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this thing here, guys. Uh, let me know what you think down in the uh, comments below. Um, like this video if you like this type of content. Got more stuff on the way, including another PC build. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Until next time, see ya.